Hello again, I am Blonty, and today I'm looking at another bit of gear sent in from PhotoJojo.com. Designed to shove more creative power and flexibility into the hands, hearts and minds of you phone, tablet, compact and otherwise ultra-mobile photographers and videographers out there. It is called the Pocket Spotlight. It's a surprisingly powerful bank of LED lights with a built-in rechargeable battery and two mounting options to keep you happy no matter if you're shooting with your phone or tablet, in which case you can use the 3.5mm dummy plug option to mount it directly to your device. But if you're shooting with a dedicated camera, chances are good you'll have a hot shoe handy, in which case there's a mount in the box you can swap out in a few seconds to suit that too. It even comes with a little screwdriver to get the job done. Now, let's start with the things I don't like about it. Well, there's only one, really. I don't like that the power button is small and flush mounted. Sure, this means it'll never accidentally switch on while it's in your pocket or bag, and that's good, but it also makes it a bit of a pain in the ass to find the button without looking for it, or if you're in a bad lighting and can't even see it easily. It is a constant pain in the ass, but it is the only thing that I don't like about it. Everything else is golden. It's bright enough that if you accidentally turn the damn thing on when you're holding it right in front of your face, like I have a few times, you'll see spots for several moments. But at normal shooting distances for portraits and objects and such, it's a pretty ideal level of light. Battery life is surprisingly good also. The blurb page on Photo Jojo claims it'll run for about an hour on a charge. Which is already pretty good, as many other lights this kind of size, either with built-in batteries or relying on disposable ones, are commonly out of juice in around 40 minutes or so. But in my rundown test, I actually got a nice slice past two hours worth of runtime. Maybe I've got some kind of super mutant freak, maybe Photo Jojo were just being conservative so what people actually got outperforms what they thought they were going to get, which is always a nice surprise. Maybe it's just a typo. Either way, it's pretty damn sweet. Now I've been testing the Photo Jojo Pocket Spotlight for a couple of months now with all kinds of gear. Everything from my iPhone all the way up to full on rigged up DSLRs and mirrorless systems. I've used it on camera and handheld and even on light stands and gorilla pods. It is of course invaluable when you're shooting with your camera phone considering how tiny and light it is you can always have it with you without feeling like you're lugging some lights around just on the off chance you're going to need them. Instead, it's tiny and slim and light, you never even know you're carrying it, but it can be ready at a moment's notice to help kick up your pics a bit. Useful, of course, if you're in low light, where your camera phone is usually going to look crap, but it's also valuable for some fill light, even if you're outdoors in the day, to either help focus some attention on your subject and drop the background away, or to fill in some harsh shadows. I've used it for all kinds of things, in shot and out of shot, hidden in the scene for some effects, or to light up the insides of subjects like this stone lantern. Even in the dead of night, at 1am out in a dimly lit street, it can turn what would otherwise have been an unfilmable situation into a shoot so easy even a drunk man could do it. And just between you and me, a drunk man did do it. And should you be out of battery power at an inconvenient moment, or maybe you're at home where access to mains plug-in power is easy, you can directly run it off USB power as well, even if its own battery is dead flat. And of course that means you can extend your runtime when you're out in the world just by using one of the now common USB backup batteries. How easy is that? The asking price is 30 American currency units, which given its general performance, its twin mounting options and the above expectation battery life makes it a hell of a good bargain in my books. The build quality seems good too, it won't blow you away, I mean it is made of plastic and such, but it's solid, I've had these bouncing around in my kit bag and pockets for a couple of months now without any issues at all. It is a very simple light, it's just on or off, you can't dim it or control the intensity or anything like that, but for 30 bucks, it's easily one of the best value accessories I've ever come across. It's earned a place in my personal kit bag without a doubt. And before I go, I'll say one more thing. I've taken this on a few group photo walks over the past few weeks, and every other photographer who saw me using it wanted to know where they could get one of their own. So don't just take my word for it, take theirs too. This little bugger is damn sweet. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty and stay tuned for the next video because it's another Photo Jojo gadget also made to help you play with light and it's every bit as handy as the Pocket Spotlight. It's called the Pocket Reflector.